I'm Helmut Sies from the University of Düsseldorf, Germany, from the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, and I'm an NFCR Research Fellow. My research started out with basic fundamental questions in redox biology. And the players in that are the what we call the oxidants. They are also, if we have too much of that, then there is damage to cells, you get a malignant transformation to cancer cells and so on. And to defend on that, that is the antioxidants. The first one are the oxidants, and I contributed to that and to, net, to better know the target for the antioxidants. And the field of antioxidants is uh, on multiple levels. Some of the antioxidants are small molecules. That's what we usually think when the term is used. Let's say vitamins, vitamin C, E, carotenoids, and so on. And we worked on that. I will come back to that. But the important thing is that our body's antioxidant defense is um, performed by enzymes, by antioxidant enzymes. One of the ways to get a cancerous uh, uh, transformation is a mutation of the nucleic acid of the DNA. So, and that goes quite often through oxidation. So if you mitigate or if you attenuate the oxidative load on the DNA, then you protect the DNA from, from the damage. However, even living under normal conditions in our oxygen-containing atmosphere, we have a, a number of hits every day uh, to our cells which um, are repaired. So the repair system uh, of our um, DNA, so, so it's not only prevention, but it's also after it occurred, is prevented. Nothing is perfect on this world. So you have to uh, uh, prevent, to intercept, and to repair. And these three levels um, are dealing with in, in cancer, we are dealing with in cancer research as well. I think a healthy diet contributes um, significantly to the maintenance of health. And our recent or um, our current research um, is along those lines that in order to uh, keep the repair systems, to keep the antioxidant enzyme systems going, you need a good circulation. And that is where components of our diet come in, the so-called polyphenols. And we have recently worked on the polyphenols that come from cocoa, but also they are in fruits and vegetables, um, to uh, improve our, the circulation of our uh, whole system, for, but also the microcirculation, and one example is the, the skin health is uh, maintained better um, with the polyphenols uh, that are ingested in from our diet. One problem in our research is that usually experiments are on a relatively short term, and short term uh, on a lifespan is even if it occurs in days and weeks and months, but over the years, very, very minuscule changes accumulate, and that then leads to the long-term degenerative diseases, including cancer um, and heart disease and diabetes and so on, these major causes of, of death. Um, they are long-term diseases, but the seed of that is already uh, early on in life. So if you get a certain cancer at age of 60, maybe at age of four, the first hit came, and the age of 25, a second hit came, and uh, only by the time of 60, then the final um, result uh, is surfacing as a cancer is coming out. So these long-term long processes uh, to analyze is now uh, the area of systems biology and the aging research, which uh, I think has a, good, has a good future, because results already now are emerging with that, result, with that technology. NFCR um, is 
giving a basis of trust to researchers um, to do the best they can in following a question that has been formulated um, but which is not cut in stone, which is flexible according to uh, development. And over decades and now even over years, new technologies uh, are coming in that we would not have even thought of, uh, imaging technologies in living cells and all of that. And I think NFCR is, is um, following the um, flexible trails of research but not losing out of sight the goal of cancer. Um, so I'm very glad uh, to have been part of this uh, over the years and thankful for the trust uh, by the scientific committee and uh, by the uh, leaders of the NFCR. Um, and I think one can be, one could say that different from the large funding agencies um, this flexibility uh, allows for the research dollar spent to get more out of it as if it went through a whole machinery of these large granting agencies. And so I hope that the general public gets that impression also that the uh, uh, direct influence on the progress is fostered best by, by this way.